the steps module. Um, here we define the procedure, so to say, of our general simulation, which can be of different types. We can do static general um, simulations, which are usually solved in an implicit manner, or um, different dynamic simulations, usually solved uh, using an explicit Numark scheme, or for example, we can define to run thermomechanically coupled simulation. And um, how to do it, uh, we will now learn in Abacus. The steps module. If we double click to create a step, we see that we are given, as uh, pointed out before, many, many different options um, of which I would say in metal forming, usually the coupled um, uh, temperature displacement analysis. In case you have dynamic forming operation, the dynamic uh, explicit or temperature displacement coupled explicit analysis is of interest. But I think most commonly used is the static general option um, because here you're solving for a stepwise static equilibrium, so to say the classical FEM approach. And this is sufficient for, I would say, most of the uh, metal forming simulation. So don't get confused. There is always, always, when you create a new model, there is an initial step. Abacus uses this initial step to um, load, so to say, like the sets, the surfaces, the boundary conditions, and in some cases, for example, predefined fields. So if you take information from previous simulation into this simulation, the initial step is where you define, so to say, the the origin in time. So what is the configuration of your simulation at uh, the time zero? So we want to uh, continue with the static general one. And now uh, I hope you guys remember the password for the Moodle course. It's LNG on, NLG on. on. Go, switching from this radio button to this radio button changes everything. It changes basically the entire code in the background um, from the linear theory to nonlinear theory. So exactly using this radio button, uh, you go, so to say, from bachelor FEM courses to this advanced simulation technique course where we uh, talk about the nonlinear aspects of uh, finite element method. So it's important, so you go from uh, like small strains to large strains and now it's done using the um, deformation gradient. It will include rigid body rotations, rigid body translations and so on and so on. Contact nonlinearities, all this follow up force, everything now is almost automatically included if you activate this radio button. You ask why is the default off? Yeah, back in the days. Um, not running NLGOM saved you a lot of computation time, but nowadays computers are quite powerful, so I would always recommend to run NLGOM on simulation. Unless you really know that your stresses and strains will be really small, then you can still save some. So if you have like a huge simulation where not much is going on, then you can maybe choose NLGOM off to save a lot of uh, computation time. Um, in this edit step um, menu you can control some other aspects like the total duration. Keep in mind in a static general analysis time does not correspond to actual time because there is no, sh no such thing as time because you just go from one static equilibrium to another. However, because most people would get confused if it wouldn't be named time, they just name it time, even in this case. Um, quite interesting could be the incrementation. So what is the stepwise distance to go from one equilibrium uh, position to the other? And here I usually um, go, um, I switch the initial increment size to um, 0.1 because if it tries to, if it would be one, you can see here, it would try to run the entire simulation in one step. Uh, this usually causes some problems. And since uh, metal 
forming analysis can be quite challenging. I usually recommend to start with 0.1 or even 0.05 and then it lets you go bigger. Yes, so it will always try to enlarge the time step size to run the simulation quicker. Um, but it's usually helpful if, you, if the initial step, especially where um, initial contacts are um, like initiated, um, that the time step is really small. So and always increase the number of increments. I don't know why they still use a hundred, just use a million all the time, it doesn't matter. Abacus does automatically um, decrease the time step size if it doesn't find equilibrium. It will do this four times and then will abort the simulation and then you will have to change some things manually in order to help Abacus um, find the converged equilibrium condition. Uh, here, this is more advanced stuff. Uh, we don't need to um, change anything here. We will probably talk about this in uh, later tutorials. Okay, so now you have created a step and in this step, all the information on what's uh, on what will come next will be stored. So if you create a interaction, if you create a boundary condition, which we'll talk about now, um, this will be saved in this step. So you can change interactions, boundary conditions from one step to the other. That's very important. So this again explains why you have a subtree for this specific. Um, uh, module here. Okay, so much for the steps.